needs a parachute. Jumpers are away. Not the guy in green. 42-year-old Luke Akins was aching to free fall all the way. I've been training this for two years. My whole life's been dedicated to skydiving. He's made almost 18,000 jumps. Now, from almost five miles up, Luke aimed for a net the size of a third of a football field in the desert north of L.A. So that net is going to catch me like if you were going to catch a raw egg. Either that or Luke's going to end up scrambled on a live Fox TV broadcast with his wife and four-year-old son watching. I'd be lying to say if I'm not a lot nervous. They tested and tested the net. <laughs> Using 200-pound dummies, one time it failed. It actually ripped through the net and went boom on the ground and hit the ground. So they made the net stronger. Just a day or two before the stunt, Luke says the Screen Actors Guild, the union, told him he couldn't make the jump unless he wore a parachute. Since he had to land on his back, Luke said wearing the chute back there would be dangerous, and at the last minute, the Actors Guild relented. He is not required to do so. One by one, Luke's teammates opened their chutes, leaving Luke alone like a 120 mile per hour speeding bullet headed for the net. Almost a decade ago, a daredevil in shorts jumped without a parachute, a skydiver locked on like mating butterflies, and fastened the guy to his harness. The pair floated down together. For free-falling Luke, the critical part was turning his body a second before he hit the net, so his back would hit first. He lay there a moment, the net was lowered, he hugged his wife. I mean, I'm almost levitating. It's incredible that this thing that just happened, I mean, the words I want to say I can't even get out of my mouth. Swish, nothing but net. Genie Mo, CNN, New York.